welcome to our Tuesday prayer. It's always our pleasure and honor have you join us during our prayer session. I know that we love you and we continue to pray for you. And even as we continue to be at a place of prayer, if there is any specific uh, prayer need that you'd want us to stand with you as a church, feel free to get in touch uh, with us. We have a host of pastoral team who will be more than willing to walk with you and to pray uh, with you. And we are grateful for such a wonderful opportunity as a congregation we can come together and pray together. And we, 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 we thank God for this, for this wonderful opportunity. Let's pray even as we welcome the worship team to lead us into a time as we prepare our hearts to pray this evening. Our Father and our God, we thank you for a wonderful opportunity that you've given to us today, that we can come before your presence as a congregation together uniting our hearts to pray, O oh, King of glory. We thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit that we have, O oh, Jehovah, that will cause us to be at a place where we allow you to continue to do greater things in the life of our children. So even as we uh, gather this uh, evening, we ask that, Lord, you will be exalted in everything that we do, in our worship to you, in our prayers to you, in our meditation upon the word, O oh God. May you be glorified in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Help me welcome the worship team. you, we honor you, we adore you, we exalt you, our Father. There is none like you. That's why this evening we gather together corporately as a congregation to look up to you and to declare that indeed you are our God. Besides you, there is none. Well, we come to worship you, we come to honor you. May you be exalted, may you be exalted. In our lives, may you be exalted. In our homes, may you be exalted. In your church, may you be exalted. In this nation may you be exalted our father we honor you we honor you today we glorify your name we exalt you our father there is none like you there is none like you be exalted be exalted be magnified be magnified in our presence hallelujah 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 we honor you we honor you in jesus name amen and amen even as we continue to wait in the presence uh, of the Lord. I pray that the Lord will help us to open our hearts to see the glorious hope that we have in Jesus Christ, that his love 
um, for the saints will consume us so much that we'll be able to know his, the, his power that is at work in me and in you and in all of us as a church. And therefore, this, uh, as we continue to be at a time of prayer, Apostle Paul would remind us in First Thessalonians uh, from chapter number 5, from verse 16 all the way to 18. Uh, he writes and says, Rejoice always, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, giving thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. What an encouragement to us that even as we continue to be in this space, that the apostle, the Bible is encouraging us that we need to rejoice always. We need to rejoice always. We need to pray continually. And we need to give thanks in all circumstances for that is God's will for us, for me and you. And therefore, I want us to take this time as we pray, we focus on three things. Number one, as we have been reminded that rejoice always, in verse 16, rejoice always. Apostle was encouraging the church in, in the, 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 Philippi, the Philippians to rejoice always in the Lord. In fact, the same exhortation, you find it in Philippians uh, 4 and verse, verse number 4, that rejoice always in the Lord I will say it again, rejoice. What an encouragement that even as we come into the presence of the Lord to pray and to worship and to wait upon him, that we will have that spirit of rejoicing that will allow our heart, will allow our spirit to be at a place where we are encouraged and we rejoice because the Lord is on the throne, God is on the throne, and we are his children. We need to continue to rejoice in, 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 in him. The second thing that Apostle is reminding us that we need to pray continually. We need to pray continually. And that's why our prayer services are good because it gives us an opportunity that we come into his presence to pray and to wait on him. In fact, in the gospel, Jesus Christ told up of a parable of a persistent widow just to help the disciples know the, 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 the power of prayer that we need to always pray and not give up. We need to always pray and not give up. Church, may we continue to pray. May we continue to pray today, tomorrow, even as God continue to give us breath because that's the only way that we will may, we remain connected with our Father, all men connected with, with, with our God. Then the final thing that we are reminded tonight that we need to give thanks. We need to give thanks. I know the year is coming to an end. The year has been rough. There are many things that has happened in our own individual lives, in our workplaces, in our businesses, in our nation. But we are being encouraged that we need to give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God concerning us. In fact, in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 20, Apostle writes again and say, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore, this, uh, this evening as we pray, I want us to focus on those three things. Number one, let's continue to rejoice in the Lord. Let's continue to rejoice in the Lord. Let's continue to pray continually. Let's continue to give thanks in all circumstances because that is the will of God concerning me and you. So I want you to join me even as we spend some time in the presence of the Lord as rejoicing, praying continually and giving thanks. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you we want to thank you for the opportunity and the privilege. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for encouraging us that we need to rejoice in you always. We need to rejoice in you always. Father, I pray that we will be a people that will be grateful. We will be a people that will rejoice because we know you as our Lord and Savior. And because of that, it changes the trajectory of the things that we go through, the perspective that we have in life, the perspective that we have in 
in, in, in our families, the perspective that we have in our marriage, the perspective that we have as we build the nation, as we do life, O oh, King of glory. Help us to be a people that are always rejoicing because you are, in the, you are on the throne and you reign in our lives and you want the best for your children. So help us, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, to be a people who are no downcast all the time, but we are a people who are rejoicing because we know that you reign. Thank you for reminding us to pray continually, to pray continually. And Lord, as a church, we thank you for the privilege and honor that has been bestowed upon us, that we can dedicate a time, that we can come individually, but also corporately as a body to pray and to allow you to continue to minister to us. And therefore, Father, we are saying that you take over this prayer service and do that which only you can do. Because as your children, we are coming and we are praying and we are looking up to you and we are saying, Lord, this fire you have brought us. May you continue to reign. May you continue to reign in our life. May you continue to reign in our families. May we continue to reign in our businesses. May you continue to reign in our relationships. We look up to you because there is no one else or oh, our God. We thank you for the privilege. We thank you for the honor that we can pray. We thank you for the honor that we can call upon your name. We thank you for your promise that says that when we call upon your name, when we call upon your name, you will hear us. And I pray that today you will hear us, oh God. Hear us as a church as we cry out to you. Hear us individually as we cry out to you. Hear us as a congregation as we cry out to you. The many needs that are represented in our midst, in our congregation tonight, oh God, we bring them to you because there is power in prayer. We bring them to you because there is power in waiting upon your name. We bring them to you because Lord, you have asked us to do that. And therefore, Father, we will not get tired. We will not get tired, but we will continually come and pray and seek you like the persistent widow. And Lord, we know that justice was granted because she was praying. Justice was granted because she continued to stand in the gap. Lord, we ask that even as we continue, some of us have been praying since January, February, March, May, April, June, July, September, October, November, and even up to now, Lord, if there are things that we have trusted, been trusting you for, Oh, Father, may you cause it to pass that when we look back, we will be grateful because you are on the throne and you reign and you reign and you reign. Father, thank you for reminding us to be a people that give thanks in all circumstances because that is your will concerning us. And therefore, tonight we come, we give thanks, Lord. Thanks for the gift of life. Thanks that this year you have been with us, oh God, despite the challenges that we've gone through individually, despite the challenges that we've gone through as a family, despite the challenges that we've gone through as a nation, despite the challenges that we've gone through as a global, uh, a global village, Lord. Father, you have seen us through and today we can stand as a, your testimony, as your ambassadors to come and give you thanks and say, Lord, this is your doing and indeed it is marvelous in our eyes. Thank you for protecting us as a church. Thank you for being with us as a church. Thank you, our Father. Today we come to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our children. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for our marriages. Thank you for the schooling, oh God. Thank you for our businesses. Thank you for our places of work. Thank you for protecting us, oh Jehovah. We continue to look up to you that even as we come at the end of the year, oh Jehovah, we can return back and say thank you, our Father. We can return back and say thank you, our God. We can return and say Spirit of the living God, thank you for being our comforter. Thank you for walking with us. Thank you for encouraging us. Thank you for charging us to stand in the gap for the glory and honor of your name. And therefore we come, we come, we lift our holy hands towards heaven and say thank you our Father. Thank you our Father. If it were not for you, we don't know where we would be. But because of your love, because of your grace, because of your mercies that are new every morning, 
we can stand here with confidence saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. May you be glorified. May you be glorified in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Even as we continue to be in that space of prayer, pray that the Lord will continue to encourage us. The Lord will continue to allow us to be at a posture that will open our hearts to allow him to minister to us. And I want to ask Pastor Sam to come and continue taking us through this moment of prayer as we continue to wait upon the Lord. May we remember to rejoice always. May we remember to pray continually. May we remember to give thanks because that is the will of God concerning me and you. God bless you. We love you. We appreciate you. Um, our God and our Father, we thank you. Jesus, as we continue with this uh, time and beautiful moment of prayers, oh God, in your presence, I pray that, Lord, you may continue to do us good and to fill us with your strength, to fill us with your power, oh God, and to guide us in each and every way, oh God. Thank you for loving us so much. As we continue to reflect and to pray and to commit ourselves to you, Lord God, I pray that, Lord, continue to lead us and to guide us into all the truth, opening our minds and our hearts, O oh God, to that which is yours, to that which is your will, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. As we continue with this amazing time to pray and to seek God, I want to draw attention in the book of Timothy, chapter 6, verse 6 to 8. It says that um, from an relative version, yet true godliness with contentment is itself great wealth. After all, uh, we brought nothing with us when we came into the world and we can't take anything with us when we leave it. So if we have enough food and clothing, let us be content. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna be praying that God will continue to grant us contentment. You know. And we know, as Paul will continue to say, that uh, people who long to be rich uh, fall into temptations and are trapped by many foolish and harmful desires that plunge them in, uh, into ruin and destruction. So that God above all else will continue to give us contentment. It's only God who can give us the contentment that truly last. We cannot be contented by ourselves. There's nothing in us that calls for contentment. But there's a contentment that just God gives, that makes you surrender to him, that makes you trust in him, that makes you continue having confidence in him, even when you're continually waiting on him, even when you're continually waiting for his ways, even when you're continually waiting for the fulfillment of his promises, even when you continue to uh, to fulfill and actually to answer the prayers. There's a contentment that only God gives. And we're going to be praying that God will continue to grant us contentment. If we are not contented at the moment, God above all else will grant us the contentment that will make us to be comfortable and not, uh, not necessarily to be comfortable, that will make us to be, yes, to be contented in Him and in Him alone. In Him and in Him alone. The other thing is that God will continue to, 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 to give us the strength to continue waiting on him, you know, to continue waiting on him, to continue waiting in him over and over again. Let's go before God as we, continue, uh, as we pray in this regard. Heavenly Father, we thank you this amazing time and evening. Lord, we surrender to you. We do recognize and uh, appreciate one thing, that God, our hearts are deceitful, um, and God, as Jeremiah says, that a heart of man is deceitful, who can understand it? And God, we desire many things. We, we, we desire uh, things, oh God. And, and, and sometimes we go uh, and even covet other people's things, oh God. Sometimes uh, not only that, but God, we do plunge ourselves into many sorrows and into uh, uh, many distractions. And we do ruin our souls, oh God by the desire of the very things that the pagans desire, oh God. And sometimes, God, there is no difference between us and the world as it runs things and it does as 
as they do things, O oh God. But God, this evening, Lord, we pray that God grant our hearts contentment, O oh God, contentment to know that, Father, Lord God, you are still in control. You have not uh, 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 abandoned us. You have not forsaken us, O oh God. And even when, God, you call us to wait, Lord God, for the full, uh, for the will, for your will to be done, for the fulfillment of your promises, God, to be done. Father, Lord, we continue to, uh, to, to wait, oh God, my Lord, in Jesus' name. We bow ourselves, Heavenly Father, we do recognize that, God, we cannot do these things unless, God, you allow us, unless, God, you give us the grace, unless, God, my Father, you uh, uh, equip us, oh God, unless, God, our hearts, God, that renew Jesus Christ, we lose focus, we lose confidence, oh God. We become impatient, and sometimes, my Father, God, irrationally impatient of our Father, and God, we do not see the need, my Father, God, to it. But, Lord, God, grant it by your grace that our hearts, God, my Father, will be patient, oh God. Our hearts will be strong. Our hearts will be at a place of enduring. Our hearts will be at a place of saying, yes, we shall wait upon the Lord. Our hearts shall be at a place of saying, yes, we shall continue waiting on the promises of God, waiting for the promises of God, waiting for the prayers to be answered, waiting for God to come through, waiting for a miracle to happen, waiting for a breakthrough, my Father, to happen. We shall continue waiting Waiting, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, by contentment and godliness, your word says that, Lord God, is great gain. It's great gain. It's great gain, oh God. And I pray that, Lord Jesus Christ, that God, this shall be our portion. This shall be our portion. This shall be our mark, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Not my father, because not because we, we, we are not worried, not because God, we, we, we do not want my father for the, uh, for the prayers that we've been praying, my father, to be answered. No, but Lord God, we wait on you and we are so much contented in you more than God, my Father. We are contented on the fulfillment of our prayers, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, encourage our hearts. Encourage our hearts. Encourage our hearts. When, God, we become greedy, oh God, Father, Lord Jesus, rebuke us and God, just correct us, oh God, and, 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 and teach us, my Father, to be contented, to be contented, to be contented, to be contented, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, this evening, if there's anything, God, we're praying and God, we're commending to you and we're praying, my Father, to you, God, about ourselves, is that God will be a people, will be a believers, will be a church that is contented in you, that is contented in you, that is contented in you. We thank you, Jesus Christ, for hearing us, O oh God, and for answering our prayers and, believe, uh, and, and being together with us, O oh God. All this to the glory and to the praise of your holy name. This we have prayed and believed in Jesus' holy name. Amen and amen and amen. Yes, thank you and truly appreciated. And as we continue to pray that God will continue to grant that grace of true contentment. May the Lord bless you and do you good. May he share the words of grace. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Beautiful evening.